Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to do an update on the Vectra. Right, um, I've had a couple of weeks off just from doing videos. Um, just wanted to spend time with the wife and just a bit of downtime for myself. So yeah, um, not done anything really. So I thought I'd do an update video on the Vectra today and then hopefully next week we'll uh, be back on it then fully. So yeah, not much has been done really since the engine got put in. Um, I was going to modify the fuel rail and I come across a billet one um, which was extremely cheap. So I bought that. Um, that's come this morning. Um, I'm still waiting on fuel regulator. So as soon as they come, I'm hope hopefully they'll be here within the next day or two, um, and then we can get on with the fuel rail, get all the fuel system finished, and yeah, after that, um, I think we'll start doing the. Probably the cooling system. Start getting that done. Get the radiator in. Um, unsure what to do yet about intercooler. Don't know whether to put the standard one on or just go all out and get a big one and we can mock up then new pipe work and stuff for that. So. So yeah, still lots and lots to do yet, um, but I want to get this, get the fuel system done and then that's finished and we can work on getting the brake to fitted, all the hoses, um, downpipe, and, um, I still need to decide what to do with a downpipe, whether to go and just buy a downpipe or whether to just custom make my own. Ideally I'd like to make custom make my own but time, cost, is it worth just buying one? So that's something I'm looking into. Um still lots of stuff to modify on this. Um Turbo intake um, that needs modifying, um, and then probably need to spend a f day or two getting all the wiring sorted out. So that'll be a full video on its own, just doing the wiring, and I'll hopefully I can go in depth with it of what what to do so just so you lot can see how how it's done on the b205 engine possibly i might make a spare loom so i've always got a spare loom Maybe if someone wanted to do the conversion themselves, I've got, I'll have a loom there ready for someone if someone wanted one. But at the moment, I just want to get this done and running. So yeah, um, I say intercooler. I don't know whether to go big intercooler. I'm thinking yes. While I've got everything off, I don't have to do it once and then that's it. It's done. Still got back axle to rebuild, new bushes. Um, I was going to go down the route of powder coating, but I think I'm just going to spray hammer it all and get the best finish I can, clean it all up and everything. So, so yeah, say so not a lot doing on this at the minute, just 
you know, I've had two weeks break, just wanted some time to myself and with the wife. Um, so yeah, just not a lot being done, but it's getting there slowly. So hopefully in the next video, I'll get the fuel rail done, get all the fuel system finished and That'll be sorted out. Um, can't think what else really. Um, oh, um, originally when this was on the road last, it, it had Brembo's on the front, and the brackets are made. They were a bit of a bodge because I, I never had a milling machine or a lathe when I made them brackets. So possibly. I'm going to remake the brackets. So there's a bit of, bit of milling machine work there, making new brackets for them. Um, crossover pipe. Um, I'm going to make a new crossover pipe. So I need to make a Bosch for... I've, I think it's the air temperature sensor. So... Yeah, that's a, a bit more milling work for this. Crossover pipe, it'll be made out of um, aluminium. Possibly two and a half, maybe three inch crossover pipe for it. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting progress, but it's slow. Say so next stage, I want to get this wired and done that's gonna that's gonna be the biggest headache on this car is getting that done so yeah because i still need to wire power steering pump in because that's not been wired in yet i wanted to do all the wiring in one go so so yeah lots to do um so i think that's about it but about it really um i do have a bit of welding to do in the back arches which is normal on a vector b so so yeah just slow progress but i'm getting there so uh yeah thought i'd try these uh new synchro mics out that i bought a couple of weeks ago so hopefully the audio is better outside um i don't think it matters too much when when we're in the garage i think it's more when i'm out here so hopefully these mics will uh be better yeah i think that's it to be honest um so lots to do and uh two weeks off now i just i want to get back into it so get it finished get it possibly back on all four wheels in a few weeks but we'll see how we go with that yeah i think that's about it so so just a quick update of what's going on and so yeah i think that's um pretty much it now um yeah, so just wanted to do a quick update video and then next week get back into it fully and uh, well, let's get this thing done. So yeah, um, so I hope the audio is better with these new mics. Um, I uh, I quite like them. They're a nice, small, not heavy. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping it'll uh, help the channel a bit and help the videos. And so, if you like this small video of an update, uh, like, subscribe, share, drop your thoughts and comments down below, and I'll uh, hopefully see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.